Hey and welcome to this short video of some different concepts within uh, the uh, um, uh, subject of costs. My name is Skide Larsen here from the Academy uh, IBA Colin. So just a very short video uh, within the concept of different financial um, uh, cost uh, 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 terms. So why at all be interested in, in looking at cost as a company? Well, knowing about cost gives the company the opportunity to control, of course, uh, the whole development of the company and uh, development of the company is not necessarily uh, growth but could also be to develop according to the market uh, so but it is very much vital for the company to be able to know and of course control their costs um, and this means planning the costs uh, looking at costs uh, uh, prices increasing or lowering finding the best opportunities to uh, to purchase under different circumstances, setting the correct and fair prices to the market that will create some kind of loyalty uh, from the customer's point of view, and of course, a good profit for the company, having an earning and liquidity uh, into uh, um, the whole management of the company, uh, making the company able to, of course, uh, uh, develop and grow having value for money basically right and of course also to plan and coordinate other activities of the company so this video takes you briefly through the different concepts of cost so this is not an in-depth uh, uh, going through all different concepts of cost but um, perhaps you have already read in your curriculum uh, that we talk about different concepts here so we have total cost which uh, in financial terms here consists of variable cost plus fixed costs now when we talk about total cost we can also talk about total unit cost where we divide the total cost with quantity x is here uh, for quantity you could write a q as well all right so what are the difference between variable and fixed costs so variable costs are costs that are directly related to the activity of the company uh, so the activity that creates the revenue of the company all right so so it's not always just directly related one on one but it is uh, related in the terms that it will uh, follow the trend of the activity of the company so that's the variable cost now variable cost the total variable cost divided by uh, your quantity your x uh, your production will give you the variable unit cost or this could also be called the average unit costs fixed costs are then if we look at the definition not directly related to the activity it doesn't mean that fixed costs cannot change because they can change and they will change throughout a period but it does not change related to the activity of the company salary of uh, fixed paid uh, employees uh, rent um, cost of maintenance of of your uh, um, uh, machines etc etc so fixed costs are fixed uh, uh, within a short period of time they can vary but not directly according to the activity of the company let's take the marketing cost for as an example which is a cost that can very easily be a, a, a variable cost because especially when we talk about digital about marketing we can talk about cost per click cost per order and like this we do have uh, the situation that the cost of the marketing is related directly to the activity, number of orders, number of sales. But very often the marketing costs are a fixed amount in a period of time. And of course, you can then see that perhaps your revenue, your activity will go up, but you cannot directly relate it to one on one uh, the marketing costs. We have total fixed costs. And when we divided our fixed costs with quantity with the x then we can talk about fixed unit costs or average fixed costs so um the concept of marginal cost the calculation is up here uh, so the marginal cost is the difference now i have uh, written a uh, variable cost but you could also take the total costs difference is the same the fixed costs are identical in the period that we are looking at so you can take the difference in the costs cost by a difference in quantity 
all right? So how does your costs, the extra cost behave when you have an extra uh, 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 production or extra sales in the quantity, right? That's called the marginal costs. So change in variable cost or total cost caused by a change in production. Very often we talk about a change in production one unit, but we can also look at it, uh, of course, um, in several units, so a, a, an interval, you could say, so 10 units at a time, 20 units at a time, 1,000 units at a time, etc. All right, so I have taken this uh, example from the book of the financial management written by Lona Hansen here. Uh, this is the second edition, um, and I want to go to, in, to Excel uh, with you and show you how these different numbers are calculated. So let me just change here and check that i am still recording yes i am all right so here you have the excel sheet let me just zoom for you so fixed cost as i said you can see it here is fixed and it's not related to the activity so even though we have zero quantity in activity we will still have a total cost which are then represented or presented by the fixed cost right so this could be salary even though you have no activity in a period you still have to pay your employees their salary etc so they are identical throughout the whole um uh, uh, yeah numbers of uh, uh, production or activity that we see over here variable cost on the other hand vary uh, um, with the activity all right so they increased with the activity so total costs uh, we can calculate as variable cost plus fixed cost so let's go up here and find the sum uh, i have to remove my little video here i'll do that so the sum uh, symbol here um comes up sudden so fixed cost plus variable costs will give us our total costs now, I will just double click here to make Excel uh, um, duplicate or copy my formula all the way down, all right? So if you have the formula once, you can just double click. So fixed unit costs or average fixed cost is calculated. Now I'm starting here at one because you cannot divide with zero and it doesn't really make any sense. So the fixed units cost um, is taking the fixed cost and divided by the number of units, fixed unit cost or average fixed cost, all right? So we can now double click here and you can see Excel will just um, uh, copy the formula all the way down. So the fixed unit cost will of course decrease uh, as the amount of um, of quantity increases because the costs are fixed but the um, the quantity where you can divide that fixed cost of uh, on is of course increasing so calculating the variable unit cost or the average variable cost is taking the variable cost and divide them with again quantity x so here you will see quite different uh, picture here all right so you will see that to begin with it would decrease the variable cost will decrease as the amount of units increase to a certain point they will actually start to increase again all right so pay attention to that trend of the variable costs here um so let's take the average cost here or the total average costs which is calculated by taking the total costs and then divide it with quantity again all right so let's take it and then uh, copy the formula down forward here so right again excel will just follow you so total cost divided by uh, by x and here we see the same picture that it will start to decrease in the beginning the total costs but then at a certain point it will start to go up again and what i am actually uh, doing here is the trend of the marginal costs okay so let's calculate the marginal costs all right so the marginal cost is calculated by taking the difference so i start with a little parentheses here so the difference of the variable costs so 500 in this case minus zero so the difference here is 500 parentheses end so that's the nominator so in the denominator we divide with and parentheses again 
the difference in the quantity. Now we can see here, I know that, that the difference in the quantity is one every time, but let's just do the calculation for uh, the sake of demonstrating it, okay? So here, um, uh, yes, uh, one minus zero, so the difference is one. So in the first, the marginal cost is 500, which is the same as the variable cost. But when we click, double click here, you will see again that the marginal cost at the beginning has a decreasing uh, trend. So the slope of the marginal cost goes down forward to a certain point, And this is all the movement, OK? So to a certain point where it starts to go up again, meaning that the cost of the extra uh, units that you produce will actually increase. All right. So this was the calculation of it. I'm not going to put anything into a graphic uh, demonstration. Oh, sorry. Let me just get the correct one here. So here, let me just show you the trends here that we're looking at. All right. And let me just remove my talking head here again. Um, so the turns that we are looking at here, when the costs for the extra units that we produce are decreasing, is what we call a degressive trend. It doesn't mean it, it goes negative, right? We, cost will always increase, sadly enough. But it has a decreasing trend, meaning that the cost of the extra produced items will be uh, less expensive than the previous produced items. To a certain point, we will see this proportional part. So one on one, one extra unit, one extra cost, roughly spoken, okay? That's this part of the total curve here. So first, the cost trend, the slope will decrease, then it will become proportional, and then it will start to become progressive. That's when the cost starts to increase, all right? So the difference from here to here is that here, in the degressive part, the company can still have economy of scale, uh, uh, the concept of economy of scale, meaning they have extra discounts from, from suppliers, they use the employees' salaries better, etc., etc. It becomes uh, decreasingly expensive to produce. To a certain point, we are as efficient as we possibly can be. So we are using our capacity to its fullest, and we have had all of the discounts that we can have, etc. But then, at a certain point, we start to go over the capacity limit. All right, so remember the terms economy of scale and capacity limit. When the company faces their capacity limit, mistakes start to happen. We start making mistakes in the production. Our employees start to... Uh, yeah, first of all, they need to be paid overtime. But in time, if you continue to pressure them, they will become sick of stress, right? Or you make mistakes in the production, etc. We will go into much more details of, of regarding this cost trend and talk about different solutions and what is relevant to look at, etc., etc. during class. So let me just click here. Uh, yeah, so that was the marginal costs. But there are also different kinds of cost uh, 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 concepts that you should read about and know about uh, and that we will go through in class. But make sure that you look up all of these different concepts within costs and that you um, also know about these different cost concepts that we will go through in class. Yes. So I think that would be it for this brief introduction of costs. And when we go, uh, when we see each other in class, then I will, of course, go into more detail and make you experts on costs. So see you.